Welcome back to the channel. We have um, it's a Skoda Octavia. It's a, it's a 1.6 TDI. I think it's 1Z3, the model. And the issue with this car is, as you can see, the shocks are shocking. And the discs are shocking. And also the brake pads are bad. But we have already done the other side. And as you can see from the brake pads on the other side, well, there wasn't much, oh, there wasn't much braking to be done. But anyway, I'll we'll leave that there, just to weigh that down. So when we put some WD-40 in here, we're going to remove now, first of all, the brake caliper. And we're going to take uh, the uh, brake, the old, these brake pads out, which they don't seem to be too bad. Like, there's a bit of meat left in them. But we're going to put new ones in, which are there. A new um, a brake uh, a disc and brake pads. So we're gonna start off with that. We need two spanners. We need one for here, one for here, as far as I'm aware, one's 14, one's 12, or 15 for here and a 13. But anyway, is that right, Jimmy? 15 and a half inch, so yeah. So it's a 15 millimeter and a half inch for this side. So, I'll be back in one second. I find sometimes when it's a lot of dirt and rubbish on the bolt, is just get a compressor, some cr compress there. And just blow, blow them off. This might be loud if you're wearing headphones. The 15 mil holds this while you use the the half inch then to take off the back nut. So there we go, I can do it by hand now. Do the same on the bottom side, and then we'll come to the next stage after that. Keep the top bottom nut, nut out, so it's basically ready to get caliper off. So we use a screwdriver and sort of regulate just a little bit out. Out you come. <clears throat> These ones aren't too bad, but we're changing them and we're changing this. So what we'll do now is we leave this for the minute. We'll go get the wind back tool just to push back the piston on this so we can get, so it'll be grand for the new brake pads. And we're going to change the brake this next, so that'll be next. Right, we're going to change the brake this now, so there's just one little we, um, hexagon nut here to be taken off. And that is, what size is that? Um, T30. T30, T30. I'll pull off that arm. This there, so. Get a screwdriver and pull it off, you have to. Have a new nut for that. That's it? No, good stuff. Right, we'll, we'll get the wire brush first, we'll leave for a second. Oh, yeah, I left that there for you. Get me the wire brush and I just want to clean up, clean up this. Just give it a bit of a cleaning because get things nice and clean. It's fairly filthy. And the wire brush over the far side. So I'm just going to clean off here, these areas here. Gives them a bit of a cleaning. And um, we'll refit it. We'll, we'll fit that then. Right. That's nice and clean there now. So the brake pads going to slip nicely into which way stick that in there. Well, let's see. We get the, the hole up first, front, up the top first. And we're talking. So hold that there for me, please. Let's spin this and we find it. There it is. It's One thing Ireland's not short of is nuts. Plenty of nuts. Right. That's actually a different different setting for that one. It's a screwdriver one on that so. Uh, put over me. Uh, do, 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 do. This one here. Simple 
us have job done. Next thing now we have brake pads. Fits there, I love it. This one fits in there very nicely. Now let's see how much we have to wind this bag. We get away with it. Just checking it out first. I might get away with it, you know. Just might. We have wind in the back. If you wind the back, we have to wind the back. Yeah. yeah, it needs to do it a wee bit. So, next thing is wind, wind back to next job we have to do we have to push back the piston here in order to make space for the new brake pads because these old brake pads were worn away and the new brake pads are obviously bigger so this here has to be pushed back so we need the right tool now this is basically the same thing here is yeah you, you pick whatever the correct size is to fit into the into the piston there and it fits onto the onto the screw or to the the piston pusher and then you have a backing that goes on through here like that there now so then these can be quite quite awkward there we go just on Copper grease on that anyway. So what we'll do is we'll go get it, make sure this fits first. Yep. Yeah. Need a bit of persuasion. Screwdriver. Hold this nut. This doesn't spin. It's just hand tight, and that one there, that's looking good. Oh, 
Probably wasn't bad. Look at that. That's the bottom one. With your turf, a 15 span of hole in that and a half inch, tighten up these nuts here. Using a ring spanner on this here now. There we go. There you go, brake pads, brake disc. And a oh, it's been yeah, hammer stone and a, um, a, a Skull Octavia 1.6 TDI. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do these shocks, doing a shock and state. I'll do them tomorrow. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> you got the pun. Unfortunately, we ordered some parts from a garage here, and uh, I won't say the name of the garage, but I'll just say Pricks Garage. And um, I put in my registration number to play, uh, and they sent out completely everything, the wrong stuff. Every single thing, the wrong stuff. So, just out and out pricks, pricksgarage.com, right. So, if it's any way helpful, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Now, finishing touch in this video here is a bit of copper, copper grease on the, on the, on the, uh, wheel on, on the disc here. So usually I get the spray, just spray it on, but I had none, so I just got it in, just painted it on with a brush. Tomorrow we're going to be getting hitting these two shocks left and right, and yeah, giving a change in the move as you can see in there. Shocking, to, <laughs> terrible state they're in. But anyway, please subscribe, like, and share, leave a comment. If not, no problem. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.